good morning, Morris. I promise it's safe to come out and eat with your friends. I've already been in the house and done one of the water bowls and Tuck's had his food but has hopped down. He's thinking about causing trouble with Stripe. I'll have to help this out. No, 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 no. Come on, over here and don't cause trouble this morning. No, no. So Johnny's sleeping in, but we're up to take Ruby to Tesla. Well, we'll have to take Jules up there this morning too. Tesla will give me Uber credits, but I don't want to Uber home from Tesla. Tucks. Tuck, 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 tuck. Come here, buddy. Uh-uh. Yep, you go that way. That's good. Don and I's routine out here always has me out here when he backs Ruby out, and that way kitties are watched, protected. You can kind of see the full moon or nearly full moon through the woods there this morning. So all the kitties are here and accounted for. Um, I still haven't seen Gypsy. I've been watching the security camera, reviewing the footage a couple times a day. I hope we'll still see him again sometime, but not been here. I kind of didn't expect Smokey to come back. Usually when they're that feral and they take off past times, we haven't seen them again. But I'm a little surprised about Gypsy. Although Morris was up on the porch again yesterday, I heard Gray growling and came out. And he runs for the hills when he sees me. He knows he's not supposed to be up here. But that may have had something to do with Gypsy not being willing to traverse the yard to come up here and deal with, you know, cats giving him a hard time over here. I don't know. It weighs a little heavy on my heart, but there's nothing I can do about it. He'll either come back and eat or he won't. Well, I see Stripe and Morris. I don't exactly know where Tux and Marty are this second. Hey, Donnie! You ready to go to Tesla? Oh yeah, that's right. So I asked Don about the dash cam wire, which comes down the windshield inside of that little plastic strip that is on all Model X and into the autopilot housing just to be tucked up nice and neat. And we decided to put a yellow sticky on the rear view mirror to say, please leave it as you find it and call us if you have questions. And hopefully that'll work out in our favor because I would be very upset if you had to spend your time to pull it back off the window carefully and re-put the wire back in there. So. It, it was a challenge. It was a, yeah. And it's been four years since Don did it. So while I know he can do it again, I don't want him to have to figure it out and spend time on that. Good morning, Ruby. There we go. Let's see, what does it say? It says 44 minutes, 36 miles. And how is it taking us? You got rid of it just a little too quick. Well, that's exactly how I wanted to go. So I'm glad me and Ruby are in agreement this morning that we're going to get on the turnpike. Sounds like a plan. There's Jules. Well, it won't show up good on video, I am sure. But the uh, full moon looks really pretty over there in the western sky. The little, little bit of graduated pink tones from the sunrise. Don says this traffic build up here at the Academy Street uh, Highway 42 light is giving him nightmares from commuting up to RTP. <laughs> it's backed up at least 30 or 40 cars. Don says he is using full self-driving and Jules is very hot to trot to navigate around stuff. I, apparently Ruby tried to get me to turn just before the shopping center back there to cut off, you know, to trim off like a half a mile or something and apparently Jules was <laughs> very intent. And I was just jamming to a song by the Pussycat Dolls and I didn't see that they were trying to route me around that little, this little stoplight here. So 
Anyway, just jamming in here, not stressing this morning. So 19 miles on the turnpike this morning and it really will be saving us some time over having gone some other route today. This is the most cars I've seen out here in, well, maybe ever. <laughs> That's because I'm not normally out here at rush hour. So it's 7.30 now and uh, Ruby still has her headlights on and taillights on and Jules does not. No light from the rear. I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'd like it better if she was lit up a little bit right now for visibility. I mean, look at the Jeep that just went past, the difference between a white car with the lights and not. I'll have to check what settings we have and start paying attention to Jules's animations and graphics a little bit more. And this is where I'm supposed to park Ruby. There was actually a Tesla um, customer car, owner car here, not one Betting picked up, but actually here for service that got hit by a car trailer a couple weeks ago. So let me make sure I put Ruby not on a corner. <laughs> She's not on a corner. You know, we really should use Sketchpad to leave notes more often. Good morning, guys, at the service center. Take good care of Ruby today. Here's my sticker about the autopilot, the, the um, excuse me, the dash cam wire. So hopefully that'll work out for Don us Don reminded me that I wanted to put her in service um, profile, move the seat back for the guys so they won't accidentally mess up my seat position. And it would be an accident, but I just makes it easier. Yeah, on they had warned us it was near end of the month overflow. Obviously this one car over here is new because it's still got the pa factory paper on it. We don't see a car trailer here this morning offloading, but... Um, I'm just coming down. Had Don drive me down here. Let me roll down my window to be a better picture. These are the new cars that'll be prepped and delivered. Okay, they got the OCR sticker. Some of them still in. The yeah, window. these are more closer to pick up. There's a couple of the test drive vehicles. I guess they do have an X up here. Yep. And, uh, yeah. At Saturday's meetup, somebody said that they had had a refreshed X come through Raleigh. I don't know that it was a plaid, plaid X, but it was a refresh. Well, there's a, there's an X. Could that be a new X? I have to take a look. It's hard to see with the, uh, yep, yoke steering. And um, the new, I know you guys can't see and I don't want to touch somebody's ready to be delivered car, but that is uh, not performance. So, nope, it is plaid. It's a plaid X. It says plaid, no little plaid symbol, but it has the little plaid word. <laughs> yep. Well, I wish you could see inside of it, but I don't, like I said, I'm not going to touch anybody's brand new car that they haven't even laid their hands on yet. Way cool. Okay. Can't see anything with the windows or all. Yeah, well, you see the factory stickers on the tires. So this is a new car. And it's definitely a refresh. And... It is a plaid. Plaid. War or long or range refresh. Yeah, car. this is the first X Don and I have seen what he's trying to say that has the blacked out trim instead of the chrome. Yeah, even the Tesla T in the very front, which is no, not, that's chrome. No, the thing around the T, sweetheart. Oh, uh, uh, right, 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 which right. I not actually the, think is very attractive on the Model X. Yes, the Tesla T being chrome or whatever, but the, the black part, I like that chrome on ours. It's blacked out on that one. You like it which way better? I like the chrome better. Okay, yeah, well, me too. I'm a chrome girl. Yeah, in fact, I'll be truthful. Uh, if they're going to black out the thing, the, the grill part, the air opening, but then black out the T. I, I don't actually like the black T and the chrome. Cr I don't like the mix, is what I'm trying to say. 
one way or the other is okay with me. One way or the other, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna. Oh, that's not where you were saying. exciting to see the plants there for delivery. I'm assuming they're there for delivery and not just there for the heck of it. That was the delivery section of the parking lot. And uh, not tempted. Want my Ruby girl back, but that was very good to see them. We're surviving the rush hour traffic this morning. Yeah, well, we're going to make the right turn here. Right. fun faster <laughs> yeah well I'm just more of the people who zoomed up on my butt but hey, that's okay she's doing good enough she's doing 31 that's that's probably pretty close whoa whoa <laughs> I closed my eyes again Jules makes me do that a lot <laughs> Well, it's because the markings were, it's oh, not yeah. that they were mismarked, it's just that. Super wide lane. Super, yeah, you know. What part of this super wide lane should I be in? jerk it out you're right but the whole point was that she was over the line it's like wait a minute I can't that's the car right there yeah she's not I mean I don't know I wouldn't go as far as say she was gonna hit the car but it's you know blowing that swing into the outside of that curve and right up on driving down line you know that's not something humans like people to do you know they like you to kind of stay sort of towards your your lane a little bit instead of swinging using every inch I'm surprised the traffic is this heavy right through here 
going this direction. There's another Model Y in front of us. I'm glad she seems to be handling this lane okay because the paint is not very good. There's like a seam and then this extra dotted oh, line that's the pretty faded. That track, there was an accident there. Yeah. Up against the shoulder, the brick wall. Yeah. They yeah, I see the Y up, up to the left of the bus. It's midnight silver metallic. Confirm lane. She wants to let you go around the bus if you want to. Well, yeah, I don't know how far. She's I'm offering going. you. Yeah. All right, here we go, girl. Go. Go. Go, girl. Yeah, this is what he's talking about. See, she's sitting here. Hope our toddler gets more um, confident over time. It should be pretty smooth down to the 55 exit. Yeah. Guess you're gonna have to make one more lane change, huh? Well, she says. 55 through here, and, uh, and I thought it was 65. See what she, she it's, probably won't. It's going to 65 now. Maybe she'll fix it. Right, but uh, they've changed yep. the speed limit through that section there. That section used to be 65. Okay. So they slowed it down to 55, which is 100% probably the right thing to have done. Not that anyone was slowed down to that speed, but yeah, right. it's a nice suggestion. <laughs> She didn't do that well. She she got us off here and then she put us in the wrong lane. She doesn't, and we've seen this multiple times, she doesn't have the capacity to think a turn or two ahead. No. And, you know, like a human goes, oh, if I don't get in the right lane at the first opportunity there, I might not be able to get in the correct lane. She just gets into a lane and then it's like, oh, now I need to figure out how I'm going to make that next yeah. turn. And she starts looking at it. And, and we've seen that repeatedly. So she had us in the right turn lane here instead of in the left turn lane. And, and she hadn't figured it out. And, and I was losing my opportunity to get over. Yeah. She definitely can stand some work there because... A safer car is one that glides straight into the appropriate lane and stays put and is not trying to make last minute lane changes because yep. they're in the wrong lane. So if we're talking safety here, we wanna yep. we wanna go into the right lane to begin with when that option presents itself. This is a funky little through the intersection curve here. Uh, she handled it just fine. I would say that the inside lane is slightly harder to keep your lane. Oh, the sun is just so bad here. I'm sure it's hard to see good for the camera view, video. Now, well, here's our lovely town of Holly Springs for you. We're here by the landfill and there's also like a rock quarry over there and somebody has dumped a ton of rocks and dirt down on the road and I have many a time, I was just telling Don, but many a time thought, you know, they need one of those brush attachments on the front of a truck and they need to, uh, that spins and they need to come out at night and clean this road at least once a week would be great. Wow, what a disaster. Nobody going to take responsibility for cleaning it up, I guess, either. It's time. So you just wanted to come this way one more time so she could zigzag changing lanes trying to... Oh, okay, she's not going to try to make any of these other turns. She's just going to go to the one she should go to, Red Oak Tree Drive, which is the cut through through the neighborhood across from us. Yeah. Because those of you who have followed us on this little stretch of road before, she tends to try to keep diving to the left to take roads that are no longer there because this is a new... This, yeah. Newly done road here. But her maps have somehow gotten updated. Something's been updated. Something's been updated. Okay. Well, I suspect she's still going to have trouble at the intersection at Academy Street, yeah, which I, the right lane goes away to a bike lane, and it's really... 
oddly painted is what I'm gonna say. It's oddly painted. Yep. As a driver, I don't like what it does, let alone the car trying to figure it out. I don't know what they were thinking. They had plenty of space there. They could have put one more lane at the intersection. I don't know. Well, they probably, yes, that's right. They probably will, but that whole intersection right now, the way it's designed, um, they, I guess they tried to make it more like a park entrance there to that, that area. Fleming Loop, yeah. yeah Fleming Loop area. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's the railroad crossing, which she won't slow up for, I'm sure. No, she's just zoomed right across it. And then the right lane becomes a turn lane with the bike lane in the middle between us and the other lane, and she needs to get left here, and she's not going to. She's just not going to. She's going to go through the intersection and try to move in the middle of the... Whoa. <laughs> if that guy would have... Um not, not been, been so close you I could have, have let her try to recover yeah I figured let's see that gets back to where this reading the lines isn't really quite good enough she far as she was concerned she was going straight dadgummit and that's all I'm going to do is go straight and um didn't have any idea that the light the lanes made a difference right well sometimes i'm surprised there's not more machine learning going on with um a better blending of map data and um real-time camera data yeah because you know that intersection's been around long enough now that we've got plenty of cars that have come through the intersection and right. she sees the arrow on the road there's yeah. no straight arrow there. That's other right. cars have been through the intersection to go straight. They're in the other lane. I mean, there's just all kinds of... Yep, yeah, she should be able to make this as clear. That trash can's probably going to mess her up. Oh, she went right around. That was actually pretty good. Wow, she actually turned, turned the turn on the turn, turn signal, signal in a reasonable amount of time. Now this also, it's like wide here at the beginning. And then it, and cuts, then it away. cuts away. So she's also got a. Did she handle that all yeah, right? She did all right. Wow. Yeah, now, say, Jules, don't take off at breakneck 45 mile an hour speed over the railroad track here. Please think about your wheels. <laughs> well, I would definitely tell you that I, I bet Tesla's going to start having to offer different wheel packages you know come back and say hey look we've got this rim uh, that we've designed it's the that you pick the most put the most rubber <laughs> on your car right in other words I, I assume you can't put 19s or 18 I don't know what the smallest rim you can get on this thing um, uh, cuz these are 22 now she says she's going to turn here onto Red Oak Tree. Yeah, well, there's nobody behind us. There is a car there, but they're taken off out of our way. She was a little wide on that curve there, yes. just a little. Yeah. But since the car moved, no big deal. I mean, that's how you would have taken it. Yeah, probably so. All right, 25 through here is a little fast, Jules. I know it's what the speed limit says, but with all these cars on the street and kids and... Whoa. She goes really close to parked cars on the side of the street in an effort to keep her lane. You know me, I'm going to drive down the center of the road over here, girl. And too many times I've seen people and animals come flying off the curb or doors open or people yeah. back out not paying attention. I just, why risk it? But that's just me. Really yeah, nice. here's where I'd like to be able to tell her to just make the left turn here onto what is this steel chase and not go up this blind hill. 
yesterday afternoon that red pickup truck was there and there was a pickup truck on the other side of the road and literally it was almost not enough room to go between them and it's a dead you know you can't see at the same time it's really kind of spooky yeah Uh, that's a little far from the stop sign. I don't know that she's ever fully stopped yet. She has not stopped yet. <laughs> I don't know. If I was a police officer watching, I'm not sure your forward moment momentum was. It was close. It was very close. Let me be clear. It was almost like as close as you could be stopped to being stopped without stopping. Right. I don't know that you have that fix on. No, I don't. I'm sure. This thing, we're... Yeah, well, hopefully because we've driven jewels today, they'll, the, the, the software gods will yeah, anoint yeah. us with a new version on jewels. Yeah. Ruby's had two or three updates and Jules is just sitting here. You know, I'd like to have shown you guys the colorizer feature, even if I don't plan to leave Jules' colorizer. You know, talk about it like other people talk about it, but I can't I can't control when we get the fix or we don't get the fix and then, or the update, and then Ruby got it, and she, um, you know, it just didn't, she didn't get that part of it for no reason. Yeah, well, now this is... I would have accepted this back there. Right. She stops well behind the stop sign. Then she kind of crawls up through the stop sign. And then she goes... She did that basically... Perfect. I, I have no problems with it. Right. I think the right answer is actually stop at the stop sign and then creep forward. forward. Yeah. And, of course, in neither one of those spots, I don't think there was a white line. I think if there would have been a white line there, that might have uh, changed her... Yep. Her uh, processing a little bit. Are you going to take us down the driveway this morning? I'll try. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to gear up for it. <laughs> I want to see trees, Tesla. For situations like our driveway, Don and I, we want to see a tree picture on the, on the screen. That she knows that there's a solid hard object there. Yeah, here we go. So here's the, yeah, well, this is the first challenge for her. Right, Trust and me. I don't know why that is quite as bad as it is. Yeah. Uh, that really it boggles the mind. There wasn't not a lot of crap down on the road up there like there has been some other times. Right, okay. So, so she stops here every time and then you have to give her some acceleration right, to get, get her to her start back bit, again. A little bit of gas. And I slow her down. Right. Really, 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 really trying Slow. to Slow. <laughs> Don has her set to max of five and she's going three. Why are we so close to the tree? Well, We're off the road actually a little bit. It's bumpy. Jules, yeah. sweetheart. Yeah, I mean, how hard is it to see these objects over there? Yeah, and then well, I'm afraid half the time she's just gonna go right off over here, but she doesn't seem to, that doesn't seem to be a problem too much. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's plenty <laughs> like of reasonable it. contrast. I guess I should get me some white tape. Right, I'm sure if we painted white lines, it would work better. Yeah. Oh, I can't look again. Sweetheart, you're supposed to... No, thought it, no, no, I saw no. No, I'm breaking with my foot. I know I don't have a break. <laughs> All right, she did not successfully navigate the driveway today. It's really hit or miss. Yeah. She has done it, but not this time. It's a lot of glare this morning, I'll have to add, though, yeah. in comparison to sometimes. Yeah. Oh, Tux is up front in his bed. Yeah. Well, He's definitely, usually, well, Don's going really slow, and, and Tux is not generally one to be flighty about the car. Hi! Did you want to come in for a few minutes, Stripe? Hi! Hello! Aww! Oh, do you want to see Stripe too? <laughs> I am so very, 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 very pleased to see Gypsy. 
to cook for Don. Um, today's the day to brown some hamburger and ground sausage, ground pork. I season it myself. I'll put that in the scrambled egg this morning. Well, I'm definitely very pleased that Gypsy showed up. Um, I got yesterday's video sent to render. I'm sorry it's late again. And um, I'm going to work on Legos. I've got uh, a little, um, little, around two hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to finish the big um, tour van. I'm going to try to put together this other van and trailer. There was a bag. I know I've seen the picnic table pieces and such. And um, this other musical, um, not that, although that is definitely on my brain. This other musical thing. I'm really close to having it put back together. So those three things. Maybe I can accomplish that in a couple hours. All right, everything for the bus is done except for this one pink piece up here, the one slope. I just haven't run into one. I did find the black slope easily that I was missing in the front. The speaker towers are built, the lounge chairs, the hot dogs, the records playing, it's all there. And I guess, you know, though, since the bus opens up, a child could potentially store some of this stuff inside the van instead of having to, you know, when not being played with. This is a bathroom in there. Oh, I got to stick the toilet on. I've got that piece right here. So the uh, little van and the trailer are coming along good, but it's time for me to stop. It's uh, one o'clock and Don and I are going to go for our walk. When we get back, Johnny and I are headed to Carrie in Jules for his eye doctor appointment. And then we'll go up to Tesla, I hope, to get Ruby. It's 62. I think tomorrow is supposed to be 73. If it gets any warmer. I'm going to have to take my thing off. I know. I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, she's hot. <laughs> we'll be back, Jules. Well, halfway around the first time and we just hit a mile. And everyone on the track is in a good mood because the weather is so fantastic. And I did check the Tesla app and they've updated it to say they expect completion by 6 p.m. And that's the only update I've had. So hopefully they're not running into any troubles. I doubt they've put these cameras in any other 2017 Model X besides Ruby. So... And hopefully it's no big deal. So, I mean, I'm sure it's not like they haven't replaced cameras before and they should be plug and play, right? I started off slow and then I caught my stride. I was having fun and I was doing good and I hit a spot in the asphalt where there was a root and almost went down. Yeah, she stubbed her toe. Yeah, I stubbed it real, the left big toe, that's the bad foot. I stubbed it real good. It hurts, just so you know now, Donnie. I was not happy. Not happy at all. Well, that's all right. She got to pet a puppy dog. Yeah, Cora and Archie. I think Maltese. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, little tiny quiet guys. For little pups, they were very quiet. Had on the blue and pink harnesses and matching leashes. Very cute. Older couple walking them. Don did have to cool off. Yeah. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you wrap a shirt around your waist. Yeah, I don't do it very That's much. more me. Yeah, and also I told her a little bit ago when someone went behind the cloud, I was glad he did it because I was fixed to break sweat. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be even warmer tomorrow. Although we do cool back off a little bit just in time for the weekend. Isn't that grand? Don's picking up trash. Wasn't too much that blew back into the park, although I could still see some out in the road today. All right, I'm still on Don's profile. Now I gotta remember how in the world do I switch it to my profile because it's not on my profile. I don't know. Seriously, how do I switch it to my profile? All right, I see easy entry up here. I can switch it. I don't like that at all. That makes me in a not good mood. Well, Johnny and I are here at the eye doctor. We had a smooth ride in. I did not um, do any autopilot.
<laughs> she farted on top of honking the horn. <laughs> we don't have that boom box uh, change on yet. I don't know why it's doing that. Now Jules is in good company here with the side of the building parking. <laughs> but she doesn't come alive when I walk close like Ruby. Well, we're headed back to Fuquay. Tony's good for another year with 2020 vision. Yay! I didn't think it was supposed to rain today, but it looks a little, a little ominous out there. I'm wondering if that's Gypsy. I've seen this cat in this yard before, but then I thought I saw it on a day when Gypsy was actually at our house, um, or I was getting spayed, neutered. So, I don't know. So, after a short break, rest at the house, um, we're headed up to Tesla. It's 5.30 p.m. Um, I'm going to say that all's well that ends well. <laughs> uh, they put on four cameras today, and the fifth camera was damaged which I guess they didn't know until they went to put them on today. So that happens, right? Uh, I, I thought for a minute that Ruby was going to have to stay up there overnight, but they don't, they don't have that camera in stock. And I don't, I didn't get, I don't understand if that's like just Raleigh or Tesla, or I don't, I don't have an understanding, full understanding of the weight, but at any point they're going to send mobile out to put on the camera when it comes in. So I won't have to do this or deal with Dawn back and forth. Uh, you know, because it's a, it's a big deal to our family at an hour in each direction, at, rest, at least at rush hour, to drop off, pick up. As a, I mean, when I do 100 miles a day, but if this had been a normal school day, it would have added quite a bit to the daily mileage. So at any rate, um, no error messages, autopilot will work. Just still can't get the beta, which is not a big deal to me. And they're going to send mobile out. At least they're going to try that. I mean, that's what they said they would do. And I assume if at all possible, that is what they will do, right? So all's well, it ends well. <laughs> and we're headed to get Ruby. She's parked up at the street waiting on me. All right, there's Tesla. There's Don waiting for me to pull out. That's not just any Model Y over there. And I've plugged in home. Down Glenwood, three miles to US 1. Huh, I'm slow. It's on autopilot, FSD. Jules did that pass it in the windshield. I was going to say, were you getting impatient with me or something? <laughs> with the windshield washer again, huh? Just turned on. It's been fine all day, but just turned Just on. now, and there's no sun. Well, that's done up ahead of me. Ruby's actually telling me to exit the turnpike and take 55. Save me a little bit on the toll, but I'm not going to do it. Don's trying to get Jules to go past that stop sign. She has she has trouble with that. That's kind of funny. That stop sign is not on the level of complexities. I don't see it as complex, but I mean, visibility is pretty good there. <laughs> 